Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Christine. I will leave all my socials down below. Now today we will be doing a Sally face paint from Nightmare Before Christmas. I am super excited as we are approaching September. As soon as the end of August hits, I'm already into Halloween mode. So this is going to be officially my first Halloween face paint. In September, I know, but I'm crazy like that. Excuse my little redesilla because I just got my hair straightened. And for all my curly hair people, you guys know what this is. It's just basically a doobie wrapped up. But we're going to leave it like this just to allow to do the body paint, the face paint, and not allow it to get in my hair. So don't mind that. But if you want to see my Sally face paint recreation, then keep watching. Okay, guys, so I am covered, so don't think I'm naked. You know, this is a PG channel. We are trying to stay away from getting demonetized in any form or fashion. But we're going to start off. We're going to get a little sponge. These you can find in any little Halloween store. They're super inexpensive. They come in packs usually like this. Now, since I want to do the old-fashioned Sally, like the one in the actual movie, she's a little bit more tamed with color. She has regular brown hair instead of red. So I want to go really based off of that. I know a lot of people who have done the Sally face paints, they've done, you know, more the cartoony side with the red hair and the colorful outfit, but I really want to go true to the movie. So we're going to start off with the Maran. This is just a white cream base since she's mostly white with hints of like baby blue we're gonna dip it into the sponge now i already i don't know if you guys can see it but I, I made a line here because i'm actually going to draw the outfit i'm not going to have an outfit on i'm gonna draw it but if you're doing this for halloween you can definitely get the outfit at any halloween store spirit halloween party city wherever you have your local halloween store You want to not paint the lips because her lips are red. So we steer clear away from the lips. Now I'm applying the white generously. Okay guys, so I totally forgot to mention to you guys, if you guys are going to be wearing contacts, then you might want to place the contacts before you do your face painting or using any cream bases only because you know it gets a little messy you don't want your fingers dirty so before i even finished the rest of my cream base i remember to put my contacts on these are from cameo eyes now you guys know i reside here in hawaii so when looking for products for my halloween makeups i wanted to find contacts halloween contacts now i used to live in new york city so halloween contacts were in every almost every single store and it became a shock to me that i could not find halloween contacts here like it's insane so I was asking like the local Hawaiians, like, what do you wear for Halloween? Like, how do you get your contacts? And everybody was like, oh, well, we get it shipped. And I'm like, oh, and I'm not used to that, you know? In New York, everything is easily accessible. So I went online and I found this company called Cameo Eyes. They have an Instagram. I will link everything down below. And it was basically free shipping once you spend a certain dollar amount then it's free shipping which is great for me because living in Hawaii shipping charges are insane but just to let you guys know these are the white blocks I love them and I ordered a few just for my Halloween looks so super comfortable of course because it has the white surrounding it's kind of not like tunnel vision but you could see the white surrounding when you're looking you can you can definitely see obviously but just want to let you guys know but they're super comfortable so we're gonna go along I basically finished my cream paint and what I did to set it was I used Jeffree Star Cosmetics blood sugar he has a beautiful glucose color which is that solid white 
and I just set my whole face with it. You can use a setting powder, just make sure you use something that is completely translucent and doesn't have like a beige tint to it. A lot of setting powders, they tend to say translucent and then when you put it on, it kind of looks kind of beige. So you want something white. I know RCMA is a good one. Or you can use baby powder, which a lot of drag queens have used in the past. But I definitely love using the glucose from the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. It's my favorite white eyeshadow. Okay, so moving along, I want to use the Blue Blood from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics. You guys know this is one of my faves. And the reason why I want to use it because Sally has some blues going on. Here, this palette has a bunch of nice matte blues. So we're going to jump right into that. I think I'm going to use Blue Blood from the palette, which is this shade here. I want to do a more avant-garde eyeshadow look as opposed to her, her wide set eyes. So I want to do something a little more sexy. It's great for you guys, especially if you want to do something a little more different, something more wearable. So I'm just going to wing it out. Now maybe I want to use a more fluffier brush. Now if it becomes a little too harsh, don't worry about it. We can blend it later. But I'm just getting the general outline of where I want my things to go. Now you have to be a little careful because what's happening here is the white is kind of scraping away. So just use a light hand. And you just want to contour her face, give her more dimension. I want to use an even more fluffier, bigger brush to do the contour on the forehead. So you want to do light swirling motions. And then just pat through just to really make Sally become alive or dead. Ah! Now the reason why I used a darker shading for here is because she this is where she has like her stitching. So it'll all make sense once everything is on. It doesn't have to be precise because you just want to give it hints of blue since she's mostly white. So now we have the general base of where everything is. We have the outline. Now I want to darken the shading of where the stitches are going to be. Or not the stitches, the stitching. So I'm going to use the same blue blood. Halloween, if you guys do not know me, Halloween is my favorite holiday. I wish it was a full month, and I actually treat it like full month, probably two months. Because <laughs> I honestly get in the mood, in the Halloween mood, um, as soon as the end of August hits, which I know is like really early, but... I start watching like scary movies, then when Starbucks comes with its pumpkin drinks, then I get into that. So it doesn't matter where I am, even if I'm in Hawaii, where there's like no fall whatsoever. It's summer year round here. I still get in the Halloween mode. I, I decorate the house. I've just always been obsessed with Halloween, like it's real in this house. There we have it so far. So now we need to work on the fine details. But before that, I kind of want to do a little bit more with the eye work just to give her a little bit more of a glam look. So maybe going in with the deeper color to accentuate the lines more. I want to try to go into a little bit of Blue Monday, which is this color here. And just darken up that crease. I know she doesn't have this obviously, but I want to make it a little bit more glam and more fun for the ladies and for the gents. Now I want to try to hide my brows a little bit. So what I'm doing here is just trying to cover my brows a little while at the same time just adding more dimension to Sally. So I'm just using that same blue blood shade that we use on a fluffy brush and just patting it on. 
but I want to give it more dimension. So I think I'm going to go into a little bit of Undertaker, this shade here. Now what I'm doing is just not really applying in the middle area here, but just in the outer areas. Okay, so like I said, I want to give her a little bit more glam. So I'm going to dip into Ocean Ice, which is this glittery blue. Okay, so that's what we have so far. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some wing liner and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm gonna let you guys know exactly what I use. I wanted to save a little bit of time. So what I did was I used this Glam Light liquid liner. Love this liquid liner. It's like a felt tip. Applied kind of like a wing. Then I applied white NYX eye pencil, more of the liner on the bottom. Then I applied some lashes, some little lashes that I got in Spirit Halloween. Then I applied some Jeffree Star Cosmetics Red Rum on the lips. Now for the tears, I wanted to make it look like tears for um, Jack. So I applied some glitter tears from Glitter Injections. I will list everything that I use down below. But we're going to use some Krylon. This is the um, aqua color water-based paints. It's water-activated paints. I'm going to use the black. I'm going to get a small detailed brush. This brush is from Michaels. Now with the white liquid liner, we can just apply detailing. So maybe I want to do some more X's just in white. This is the NYX white liquid liner. Now we want to move on to her clothes. This is the Delium Tools brushes. This is their SFX collection. If you guys haven't heard of them, super amazing brush company. I will, of course, let you guys know the name of it down below. This is what the brush looks like. And I'm going to dip it in my water and just use a Krylon paint in brown. Same aqua color. I've never seen a brush company that specializes, a makeup brush company that specializes in SFX. So these are brushes specifically for SFX. It's super hard for us face painters and body painters to get nice brushes because everybody makes a makeup brush a regular beauty makeup brush but most of the time us face painters and body painters we tend to go to craft stores because they know how to make a good brush so this company if you guys have never seen their website or their instagram check it out super amazing company not sponsored just letting you guys know for all my painters out there i'm obsessed I'm just gonna paint what is gonna show in pictures. Using a different brown, I'm gonna go to the other side. Then I'm gonna apply some detailing. So I'm going to take the NYX Black Liquid Liner. Just really simple. Okay. So I'm gonna let down my hair and then we'll be right back. Okay guys, so the look is complete. This is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you would like to see more tutorials like this, then please give this a like. And please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.